Now let's talk about Elon Musk. He may be getting into trouble on Earth, but in space, things are going pretty well for him. On Sunday, his company SpaceX launched its Starship rocket, and this one made it to the history books. You see, rockets are launched using something called boosters. Now, usually a booster separates from the main rocket at some distance, it falls back to Earth, or it burns. But not this SpaceX booster. It performed a controlled descent, landing into the arms of two huge mechanical chopsticks. In simpler words, SpaceX basically caught its booster. And why is this historic? Because this saves a lot of time and money. They won't have to build a new one to launch the, the next rocket. Our next report tells you why reusable rockets could be the future. Three, two, one. It was early morning in South Texas. SpaceX had just completed its fifth test flight. But this wasn't just another launch, it was a leap into uncharted territory. The Starship blasted off from the Boca Chica Starbase in Texas. Around 65 kilometers from the Earth, the super heavy booster separated from the rocket. But it didn't plummet back to Earth. In fact, it made a picture-perfect controlled return to the same pad in Texas. At the heart of this plan is Mechazilla, a 400-feet-tall titan of technology. Its mission? To catch the descending booster mid-air using two enormous mechanical arms, aptly named chopsticks. This moment was critical. The chopsticks had to reach out, perfectly timed, and snatch the falling booster from the sky. This daring maneuver is unlike anything ever attempted, and social media couldn't get enough of it. So what makes this so historic? You see, boosters play a crucial role in launching rockets. They are usually attached to the sides. They are often solid fuel, so they burn very quickly. That gives the rocket the thrust it needs to take off. Once the boosters have done their job, they separate from the main rocket. Most traditional rockets have expendable boosters. They fall into an ocean or a designated area. Most are destroyed on impact. There are also some reusable boosters, but all of them land on floating ocean platforms or designated landing pads. The SpaceX feat was nothing like this. Catching the booster saves a lot of effort. First, you don't need complicated machinery on ground. And second, it saves a lot of time and money. It's the first step to making rockets reusable. If the booster is caught, you can redeploy it in the future. It saves the money of developing a new booster. Plus, it reduces time between launches from months to just days. So this now paves the way for a future where rockets don't just fly, they return ready to fly again. Of course, NASA will be very happy with this. It's paid the company nearly $3 billion to take astronauts back to the moon. But America is not alone in this race. China's space industry is working to develop reusable launch vehicles to rival SpaceX. It plans to debut them in the next couple of years. Russia, too, is planning to go the reusable route with its new Amur rocket in 2026. The Amur is said to be a lot like the SpaceX Falcon 9. India, too, is venturing into this. It has approved the development of a new reusable rocket launcher. So reusable rockets are definitely the future. And SpaceX has shown the way. Elon Musk says he dreams to ferry astronauts to the moon and even Mars. This is the first step to that. The next is to build a fully reusable rocket, which could be a game changer in the quest to conquer space. First Post decodes the U.S. election, explains how America chooses its president, your primer on the race to the White House, everything you need to know about how America votes, and its global implications. U.S. Election Explained, every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.